Hello guys, I'm Sock Monkey, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. I've recently got some new audio equipment, and so I'm hoping the quality of this has improved for you audio-wise since the last video. But I decided I wanted to try something to play, and I was looking around for a one-off game with a bit of a horror feel, but in the end I really couldn't find anything I actually wanted to play and show. So I thought, let's just continue with Call of Cthulhu. Now, I've kind of spoiled one of the jump scares because it bugged out on me. So I'm going to do something really weird in a minute, which hopefully will work. I just tested it and it did work, but I have therefore experienced the jump scare. So this, if you remember, this is where we went out and there was the guy, the stranger, the mysterious stranger, who contacted us uh, just before I was about to save last episode. But before that, I did try and come through this door, but it kept bugging out. So here we go. Shit. There we go. So it does work. You have to jump for some reason. And there we ah, go. From the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Okay, so this does have a sanity meter, very similar to amnesia then. If I look at creepy things, my Nothing sanity does seem, here. To, does seem to dwindle a little bit. So unfortunately that jump scare did get me the first time, but I don't have it recorded <laughs> because I was testing something out. Okay, so I think we've done everything in here now. Got the information from here, and we've got everything we needed to in there. I don't even know if I need to sneak out now because the guy obviously broke the door down. <laughs> Shit, that made me jump. Creepy. Okay, so I want to talk to that guy. So I'm going to follow him. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Hello. Can I talk to you? No. So that was just exposition. That was just setting. You are all so pretty. Anyway, enough getting lost in the aesthetics and beauty of these people. Let's... I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. Well, that's rude. Okay, so I'm not really sure where to go now or what to do. There's this guy. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Ken Riley says I know him. I'm sorry, is there something wrong with your throat? No? Hmm. I'm really not sure where it's going now. Maybe the hotel, because the hotel was open. So let's have a let's have a po let's go back over there. Let's see. Hello again, Mr. Friendly Bus Driver. Tick tock on the clock. Okay, I don't need to save just yet, but we know that's there now, which is handy. Okay, here we go. Let's talk to this guy. He seems like he... No, he's creepy as fuck Evening. as well. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> so, Talking to this fellow is getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. The implication that he just meant was that people from out of town come here to kill themselves. Isn't that pleasant? Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll go. Thanks. I'll go to the Holiday Inn down the road. I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. He worked in the First National. I'm a friend of the family. I ain't heard of the Burnham lad. Right. Okay. It's locked. 
It must lead to the back of a variety store. See, what's this guy protecting? What happened here, Constable? Nothing. Oh, swell. You can let me pass then? No. You'll have to go another way. Okay, yeah, I think this is where I need to go. If I remember correctly, the guy said I met at the end of last episode something about Dog Street. So let's see if we can get around. It won't open. It won't budge. How? I have no idea. It won't open. We're it's just going to try everything. Store, and it's closed. The sign says, Innsmouth Poorhouse, in memory of Lady. It won't budge. Because I have no idea what to do or where to go. Fog's thick tonight. Damn, we'll have to put out a This town's deserted. Smoke. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Why won't you tell me? It won't budge. It won't budge. None of these doors open. Apparently, everyone just locks every door. Every time they ever come out of the door, they lock it behind of them. The local newspaper, the Innsmouth Courier. It won't budge. Okay, that's boarded up, so that's no good. Where the hell am I meant to go? It won't open. I hope it doesn't take too long. If it does, I will edit out the bits where it takes me a long time. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk around. Just for a bit, just explore. Okay. Let's try down here. What the hell? Yeah, that's normal. Oh, hello. Excuse me, ma'am. Why can't I talk to you? You seem interesting. Ah. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight. This port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. Okay, so... It, this doll seems more open than some folks around these parts, but she isn't going to talk <laughs> to me right now. Hmm. Okay, so that just cut through there. Okay, here's, uh, is this this guy? Yes. Hello, Maggie. Guy. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store, a rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Maggie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty, but I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is going to crack this case. This game is just giving me no leads. I mean, it won't open. It won't open. Why would it? Why would it? You know. It won't open. <laughs> what do you know about the break-in at the variety store? Only what was in the press. You should speak to Thomas Waite. He owns the joint. Where's his place? I think the Waite's house is over on Dock Street, near the back of the pool house. Thanks. Though I warn you, it's Miss Driven Old Waite's a bit crazy. He doesn't talk a lot of sense. That's my sort of fella. He sounds just perfect. Well, at least that gives me something Storage to go Street. on now. It's I kind of know that I need to go to Dock Street. Okay, there's there's the other only... Whoa, whoa. Uh, 
no, that is not where I was before. But there's somebody else just hanging there. Lovely. I'm looking hey. for Brian. Bro. Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. He seemed quite normal, but that was my mistake. That was very much my mistake. Okay, here's another way. Let's see if this gets us anywhere different. Okay, it's just a drunk. Just a pisser. With a good wind piping early in the tall and gallant man. Ah, my voice, these are the <laughs> of the noble and the brave. Who love a life nice. in the tempest. Classy. Classy towel. Stay classy, Insmith. Uh, the way he looks at me in the eye, just the like, yeah. I just pissed up a wall. And the growling thunder sounds is gong, and the whirlwind battle out. A seedy looking bar ah, called the Guard. Do you think and unfortunately, that's it's shut. Valiant strength. Eh? Who is that there? Who can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Helen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice. And old Zadok will fill your head. Yeah, okay. So we're finally getting somewhere. The Order of Dagon. That was mentioned in one of the documents we read. So, even though he's a but drunkard, I do actually believe him. Shh, rude, talking. Yon, yon. I do believe him that they didn't like the outside company taking business away from whatever they were running. So interesting. Irresponsible, but progress is the game. And that's what it's all about. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. I thought he was going to puke. <laughs> Now you be calling me crazy, like them that's dar rumoring an anchorum in Lipswich. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Ah. Old Captain Mobit where it all began, telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that that answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were crying. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside of reckoning out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open, mounds of the dead and the dying, <gasps> shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up, 
Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy of strangers if we were known what was good to us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his heathen gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Okay, so that was a bit of a convoluted oh. cutscene, but at least it gave us some progress. So we now have a key to the poorhouse, and here she is again. Hello, miss. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you going to even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like... Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billiam's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've okay. seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. Well, the eye symbol obviously is the save point. Oh, oh, it is the save point. <laughs> Why have they changed it? Does it do something different now? Guess we'll find out. Guess we'll find out. Okay, that was looking at him. It was kind of on that ladder area over there, but he's looking there now. Okay, let's progress. He's just walking into the de the dark alley of death. Oh, he's having a piss. You know, that's all people do in this game. They just walk around and then piss at walls. It's quite handy. Saves sewage, you know. Saves water costs, you know. Helps the earth, saves the environment. It's unlocked. It is unlocked. I have unlocked it. Where should it be behind? Oh, here we go. New area then. So, we're off to try and speak to Jack Waite. He's going to give us some more information, hopefully, about what actually is going the hell on here. I see you Hello. outsider. I'll report your order. Oh, that's so nothing. The voice acting in this game is really bad. I have to say, it is really, really bad. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Please stop bothering me, stranger. Okay. So they're scaring everybody, scaring everybody off and talking to me. Do you need any help? Okay. 
Moving along. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? It's getting late, outsider. Folks that know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. Bye. Shut the door, please. Shut the door, please. No, won't let me. Fine. Okay, so the poor house is in operation. I thought it was deserted. But since old Lady Warren's passed away, the food is Whoa. rotten. But we'll die soon enough. Well, that's that's a lovely outlook he has. He's definitely a cup half full kind of guy. It's snoring. I did wonder what that noise was. Maybe best not to wonder too much. Are they dead? The old woman's dead. Nice. It won't open. It won't open. Um, what? Why am I losing sanity? Best ask not why, and just get the hell out of here. Okay, so we're here. We're at Dock Street. Wow. You know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't help that. What the hell? Her voice. Oh. Okay. It affects my sanity anyway, so maybe not, but I would have liked to... <gasps> oh my god, she scared the absolute crap out of me. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mummy's upstairs in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your mommy for me? Nope. Mummy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? Oh, near the door. She Growls. I don't love mummy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. No, but we're going to close the door, Jack. You know, we're entering a creepy house. Creepy girl. Won't open. Creepy mother that obviously bites people's touch. hands off. So... What the hell was that noise? It won't that open. is not a An woman. Old chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, is it the mother that's been following me? The door's bolted shut. It is. Knew that was good, man. 
Oh, sugar. I think she just killed her daughter. I'm now in some kind of asylum. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, let's have a quick look around in here. Looks like a diary. Because it is a diary, Jack. A quick read of this. The last entry in the diary is from today. It reads, Another sleepless night, I lay awake listening to the movements of that thing that I married pacing about her locked room. Damn the esoteric order of Dagon, damn the oaths. And damn the town fathers for not hanging Obed Marsh when they had the chance. No, burning, burning him, him and his whole filthy clan. I wish I could just leave, abandon my sham of a marriage, leave the store to rot and start a new life far, far away. But I'm trapped here. Every time I look at Ramona, I know it. Watching her sleep, in her beauty and innocence, my heart feels like breaking. She has no idea what she will become. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. The change cannot be far off. Her birth gave me such joy, so much that I still use the month, day and year as the four number combination for my safe. As if that's not a clue for what's coming up. In that order, starting clockwise. <laughs> as if you'd write that in a diary. It is as though I am trying to preserve that date forever and deny the inevitable horror. I sometimes think of killing her, an act of mercy before she starts to manifest the horror. God forgive me, but she is my daughter and I could never harm her. She is blameless in all this. When the time comes, Innsmouth will be the only place for her and until then I must stay here to watch over her. It is my penance, my atonement for creating her life with her chosen mother. After she joins them, if the grief does not kill me, my life will be my own once more. Not that I know how I will have the strength to go on without her. Okay. So, the mother must be some kind of alien entity or something that he was made to have a child with. I just killed the daughter. Oh, God. No. They've taken the last thing I love away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've it's been right talking to eyes down up. all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was caught by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack. What the hell's in the safe anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter, and now he's left them blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. <laughs> so nice to see they handle the dead with delicacy and care. Just sling it over your shoulder. It's Ramona's coloring book. Let's hope this has her date of birth in it. 
The drawings that fill Ramona's book are th like things from a nightmare. It is hard to believe that a young child could imagine such horrors. There are pictures of strange unnatural creatures, crudely drawn, but still able to provoke visceral feelings of revulsion. One of them is captioned with the word mother. What can it mean? These profoundly disturbing images raise grave concerns about the girl's state of mind. No. It won't budge. An old chest of drawers. It won't open. But what is her date of birth? Is there anywhere else I can explore up here now? It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. An old chest of drawer. It won't budge. It won't open. Okay. Frustrating. That. An old I know what drawer. I need, but... Nothing of interest here. I don't know. I don't know where I'm meant to find the the state of birth. That will be the code. Anyway, what I really need is a save point now. Go away. Stop looking at me. Strange woman. I can't get about that way, can I? Because this is where I came down and I can't climb back up. I need to go into the... I'm wondering if the uh, policeman has moved now. I progressed the Jack, story. Jack. Yes, hello. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police dragged Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We've got to do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah, I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Okay, so I do need to heal this time, apparently. Oh, maybe I didn't need to use that. Oh, I don't know. Oh no, it was H and it... Oh. Probably shouldn't have used the morphine. <laughs> I needed to press H to heal, not use the morphine. Whoops. Might regret that. Might regret that indeed. Okay, right, I'm going to the hotel. Nobody talk to me, nobody speak to me. I need to save my progress, please. Oh, for God's sake, it's now shut. Oh, God, it's open. I didn't think I was going to be able to go back in then. Okay, right. Well, there we go. I played this much longer than I anticipated. It's a problem with it. A save system like this, I can't just stop when I feel like I need to. I have to continue, and obviously, the game is st still setting up the exposition and the story, so it's a bit difficult for me to do that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly have, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.